Hey, hey everyone, it's Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures. I'm just kind of trying to get you guys settled in your spot for the night. Woohoo! I hope everyone is having a great evening. It is May 15th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that means it is time to party! So I'm just gonna see um, if we can get a few more people in here and then we will start welcoming people. All right, so right now I am doing a Dreamer Designs and it is um, Contemplation. It is by Anne Marie Bone and it is a, let me look here, a 80 by 60 or 60 by 80. So anyway, I'm so glad you guys are here tonight. It, I have been looking so forward to this Friday Night Live. Some of you know um, I've been chatting with you a little bit about what's coming up tonight and I gave a little precursor in um, Creative Craft Addictions Facebook and then I gave you a little clue in the thumbnail. So yeah, let's see who's here tonight. Hey, Suzanne, welcome. You are first. And then we've got Jamie. Welcome, Jamie. Teresa, hi. Mindy, yay. So good to see you. Um, and then we have M, Diamond Paints. Love you, M. Um, she and I have been chit-chatting on comments back and forth all this week. Hey, Elizabeth Adams. Work and lurk away. Crash lays in the house. Hey, Koala Crafts, good to see you. Hey, Mistria. Hey, Yvonne, party party. Kathleen Cross, hey. Um, hey, Mickey Sunshine, how was it going before? Did you have a good live? We were uh, testing out my husband's new grill and watching a Marvel movie because we got to get those taken care of. So I hope you had a wonderful live. I'll have to watch the replay. Hey, Trava, good to see you. Um, hey Tia, hola. Hey Valerie, good to see you. She has this painting and she can't wait to start it. Hey Narita. Hey Kim, good to see you. That's okay Jamie, it's busy busy time. Beth, Beth's in the house. Beth, I just got done writing a little blurb on you in my book, so I'm so excited you're here. Miss Whimsical Daisy, she's got Mama's Mud. Um, check out her Etsy store. Hey, Elizabeth, so glad you could make it. Hi, Candice, good to see you. Hey, Catlow's Books. Oh, it's so good to see your name. Thanks for letting me know you're working and lurking. Hey, Odd But Nice. Good evening, or it's actually good morning for you, right, Bianca? Hey, Cat's Gallery. Amanda's in the house. Good to see you. Oh, my goodness. Kathy is almost done on her Into the Wonderland. Good evening, Laura. Good to see you. Hey, Jill. Okay, so I was right, Bianca. It's still technically morning there. <laughs> so, um... I'm actually really excited about Dreamer Designs. I did not know until I started working on it if it would, you know, actually be a 2.0. And I, I think it is. I think they did a good job bringing it up to the standards that we all love. Um, I have not had any concerns yet about it. I still have half the painting left to go, so we will see. But so far, so good that I even got Eleanor the Elephant. So check out that video um, I posted earlier. Um, I think it was yesterday. Um, let's see here. Okay. All right. So I have an announce, a couple announcements for you guys before we dive in. Um, announcement number one, Crashly just posted Diamond Painter of the Month. Do not forget about that. It's in the link down below um, in case you're on replay and it's also in the chat. Ashley just posted it. Please go over and nominate. It does not have to be a YouTube creator. It just needs to be somebody who loves to diamond paint. Um, let them know how much you love them. I do read the nomination description, but I don't say who the nom um, nominator was. So please go over, share the love. Um, I'm super excited. Do you guys want to see what this month's giveaway is? Um, 
I have it right down here. Do, 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 look at that. If I put it away with my stash video. You guys ready? So it is actually a diamond art club and it is morning coffee. So this is um, the winner. It has been opened only to make sure that everything's good, but everything's in here. Brand new kit, beautiful um, diamond art club. So this is what the winner of, let's see, it's May. So it's uh, June's diamond painter of the month. And anytime that you see Creative Mayhem, she is May's diamond painter of the month. So make sure you say, What's up, girlfriend? And wish her and congratulate her for what she does for the community. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what I'm missing. Jamie's working and lurking. Uh... <laughs> Actually, sorry if I gave the wrong credit. I don't have my glasses on. I've been struggling with a migraine all day. Ashley took today off because I couldn't see straight. So if I miss a comment or read something wrong, please give me some grace um, because I, I'm guessing what I'm reading. Um, Valerie's getting some of Beth's mud soon. And yes, yes, very, very nice. All right, so hey Lizzie, welcome to the party. Um, okay, so announcement number two is um, I, I'm so excited if you are not a subscriber on Elizabeth Ensley's channel, you need to become a subscriber because she and I are doing a collab. Woo -woo! So she just posted on her channel the unboxing of what we're doing and then I'm releasing my unboxing tomorrow. But I wanted to share with you tonight a couple details. We are doing a um, wonderful image from Amy Reed's Crystal Canvas USA or not USA US and we have been waiting because Amy had ran out and so her shipment is in the United States and it should be in within the next couple weeks and so Elizabeth and I want to start um, the week of June 1st so I hope to do like a whip and chat format and I'll post on Thursdays unless life changes then I'll post a different day of the week but it'll be um, one video roughly a week for Elizabeth depending on her schedule and one video roughly a week for me on my channel and we're going to collab it up. We both love Golden Girls, right Elizabeth? Woohoo! So we're going to do some Golden Girls trivia and try to um, not cheat in Google, but try to um, trump each other or stump each other up. Or also, like, she just got, um, Edward just got a new puppy, so their family's going through puppy training. So we're going to be talking dog talk or animal talk back and forth. Um, we're going to ask each other questions. And there's prizes! So yeah, there's prizes. Um, and there's also a little fundraiser element for Earth Day, which um, will be described in the unboxing video tomorrow. And so, yeah, just, um, I'm so excited to have a lot of fun and um, we're just gonna have a blast. So yes, go check out Elizabeth Ensley's channel and become a subscriber so that you can go back and forth with us and that you can be on the collab too. We picked a painting that represented Earth Day, but also something that was beyond Earth Day, that you would enjoy framing or putting in your portfolio, something that had um, color but wasn't like, booyah, um, something that was just fun and whimsical um, yet tasteful and classy. So can't wait for you guys. If you want a sneak peek after the live, go check out Elizabeth's unboxing. Otherwise, wait till tomorrow to see my unboxing. Whew. All right. Oh, Cat Lowe's books, I, I just have to function. I was in bed and, and for a long time this morning. So, um, but thank you so much for caring. I have had migraines since the day I was born. And as long as I'm not having to like intensely read, which I actually just spent four hours editing, <laughs> um, 
the last edit of my book, which is going is um, going into publication. I'm so excited. A week from today, guys, it is being sent to the printer. So I just did the last edit. So the designer is going to go in, make those changes. Then somebody's going to go in, the copyright person, and make sure that everything's spelled correctly and that the grammar is correct. And then it's going to print, and then it'll be released on Amazon. It's already um, up for pre-order and definitely get your hands on that book because it is for both the novice, the new person, but it's also for some experienced person, people. It's got t pro tips. It's got notes. It's got, um, why I diamond paint the story behind diamond painting. It's got photos. It's got how to, it's got tips, tricks. It's got resources you name it, it's in there. So definitely um, grab one of those. Okay. Um, who's publishing it? It's called, um, oh, you asked me too fast. <laughs> Rocky Nook. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is just having a lot of trouble processing today. Um, but they are just amazing and they're out of California and they do crafting and photography books and magazines. And so definitely Diamond Art Club recommended my name. So thank you so much, Diamond Art Club. And this has been a year in the works and I can't wait for it to hit the, hit the shelves. So Amazon will be the first place you can grab it and then we'll go from there. Um, okay. So what did I miss so far? Um... Oh, I know, Mindy. We love you. Hey, Kim. Good to see you. Um, just thinking of Mindy, giving her some hearts. Um, let's see. 4,000 paintings, Tia? What? Did I miss something? What? What's going on? Um... Yeah, so we're going to have to give Mindy lots of love. She is retired and with this COVID stuff, just not being able to have a, a solid goodbye. Um, let's see. Golden Girls, right, Abbott Nice? Woohoo! Yay, thank you so much, Diamond Painting with Dreamer. Bianca, I am working on uh, Dreamer Designs. It's called Contemplation. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. Let's see. Well, Mindy, we will ride that roller coaster of emotions with you. Okay, girl, if you're down, we'll be there. If you're up, we'll be there. Um, we just want to be there for you. Um, let's see here. Woohoo! Yvonne has her free order in. Mindy, make those ducks and chickens your students. They can be challenging like the class. I sent, I uh, tagged Mindy on a art project I thought would be great to put in the, in her chicken coop. <laughs> it was like a little, um, you might have seen it if you're in creative craft addictions. Guys, please, I can't tell you enough to go to that. We have so much fun in there um, posting different things about our lives and crafting and um, any type of craft known to man and one of the crafts I found was this wood woodworking of a picnic table that has a trough in the top that you put chicken feet in and then all the chickens were eating out of it I was like Bendy you and your husband need to make this I have a feeling she gave me a big eye roll <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey Lorenda good to see you hi Robert uh, Dreamer, I, uh, Diamond Painting with Dreamer, I think they put the links in a little bit above if you want to scroll up. Um, also, I will make sure in my videos moving forward that I have the link. Hey, Crafting with Christy, good to see you. Woohoo! Um, yes, come join us at Crafter Zoom tomorrow. That's okay, Dreamer. It's um, it's not going to actually be released until September, so take your time pre or to pre-order. Um, however, it's it's just it's great. I'm so excited. Um, okay. <laughs> um, Crashly has my next announcement, and I'm trying to keep it in video form. 
Um, but I do have a Patreon account. However, that brings me to my newest announcement is if you see on your video down below, you will see a join button. Now, um, this is a new feature. There's like a two minute intro that I have for joining my channel. So there's subscribing to the channel. Well, there's watching the channel, subscribing and joining. If you join the channel, you are a member and you guys, I have tried to make this where you get to be a part of this channel. And so tonight is the kickoff of that. And I have what I call a truth jar. Woo, woo. Yeah, special effects, right? <laughs> so this truth jar, I'm telling you, I printed off 100 truths. I did not read them. This It came off of a truth or dare. And I cut them up and I put them in here. And if you are a member which means you'll have like a little green, your name will be green, not blue, in the chat. Or if you super chat, I will pick one of these truths out of here. You will get to pick odd or even because they're double-sided. One side is odd and one side is even, um, number-wise. And I will have to answer that truth live. Like I can't say, no, I'm not gonna answer that. I have to answer it. And if I have a story, I will make a story uh, not make it up, but I will tell you the story that goes with it if I can remember. <laughs> so if you want to take a moment to go, I can't, I'm not sure how to fix that, Vistria. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but if you want to click on the join button and join, there's three categories. Um, the first one, we will be doing things like this with live. So you'll get to participate. Um, you'll get to do certain things. The second level, you'll get to take it to the next level, and I need to make sure my moderator's here, but they'll be able to um, tell our moderators to put links in. So if you have a certain, um, if you, if it's topic appropriate. So if we're talking about something and you just did a video on it and you aren't a moderator, but you wanna promote that video, because you're a member of this channel, then you can ask one of our moderators to put that video in and they have to obey you. <laughs> now they will make sure that it's topic appropriate. Um, you know, we don't want you advertising about the new kitten you just got. Oh, cross with Crashly. Oh gosh, Crashly, you want me to truth it? Okay. We are going to work on it. Okay, here's the first truth. Okay, so down below, I'm gonna show you guys my screen. Okay, hold on, we're gonna be moving. Moving, 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 moving. Okay, so here's my screen, right? Wave at each other. Woo, it's like, <laughs> okay, so right down here, There's a join button. So mine says analytics because I'm logged in, but yours should say subscribed. And then there's a join button right here. If you click on the join button, okay, it will open up and show my video. And then you join over here what you would like to do, okay? And then what happens is your name turns one of these colors. And I can see that actually in the chat. And so when you ask a question like truth, baby, or something like that, then you get, you will get to, um, Narita, you don't have a join button. What's wrong with that? Oh, it's not on the apps yet. So you have to be on the computer. Okay. Thanks, Mickey. You're the best. So, um, yeah, so we will keep working on this. <laughs> We will try to figure this out, um, but if you're already blue, Crashly, I think you turned to green, but we can try that out. This is brand new to me. Hey, Robin, good to see you. So Crashly has uh, purchased herself a truth. So Crashly, do you want odd or even? Crashly. Odd. Okay. So 11. Who? Okay. 
It says, who do I think is the worst dressed person in this room? Do you think we should do even instead? Because uh, it's just my daughter and my husband and myself. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought so. So I, I will give you, okay. Do you drool in your sleep? Hmm. Some of these are kind of average and some of them, when I was looking at them, before I put them in, I was like, O-M-G. I don't want to answer that live, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so the question is, do I drool in my sleep? I do drool in my sleep. <laughs> because I have really bad allergies, I tend to sleep with my mouth open. And so sometimes I'll drool in my sleep and it'll actually wake me up because I will be like in a puddle of my own drool, which is really nasty. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I will, uh, I do. And then I'm really embarrassed because now there's this big spot on my pillow and I have to like move my head. And then there's sometimes, especially when I'm sick, that I end up having to turn my pillow over because <laughs> there's so much drool. And there was one time, oh my gosh, guys, I'm going to truth. I hope this is worth it, Ashley. One time when I was sick, I fell asleep with a um, cherry cough drop. And um, when I drooled, I woke up and there was this huge like pink spot on my pillow. And then when I went to remove the pillowcase, like it had gone all the way through the pillow. And so like for a year and a half to two years until I changed pillows there, every time I changed it, there was like this, this pink spot. That <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, Crashly. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I've eaten a lot of bugs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Okay. Not on the apps. I'm just catching up on chat, guys. <sighs> okay, so Mindy says it's in the app, but you have to leave chat and go to the channel to find it. Okay. Yeah. I know, and I, I just think to myself, like, oh, I'm sure this is this is a really, oh, one fell out, guys, I'm gonna put it back in. This is <laughs> really uh, appealing to my husband. I am i don't know how many times he's woken up, and I'm sure he's seen. <laughs> oh, crush, uh, Tia says, my daughter says we eat 105 spiders per year. If we don't think we drool, can't imagine how many drool. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to do it on an app. I could, I don't have a phone or anything because you guys are looking at, looking through the phone. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I have this truth jar, but um, from time to time, I'll have new things that help it be interactive that you guys, you know, can definitely participate in and just have some fun and chat. Um, yeah, yeah. I didn't think you'd want me to like air horn every time there was a super chat or something like that. I thought this was just a good way with the truth jar. Um, there's some really juicy ones in there. There's one like, have you ever passed gas in an ele elevator and just different things like that. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna definitely have to make sure my clients don't find my <laughs> live YouTube channel. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that was another announcement. Um, and then, I'm trying to think. I thought I had one more announcement. I should have written it down. Um, I just, I just wanna give a shout out to my husband who is amazing because he put in new lights above my desk for me, which like 
really make it easier for me to video and to show you guys great things and I'm super excited about that. It's not easy being green. So he said he had to like jimmy rig it and different things and so I am so grateful. So grateful for that. so complicated ah uh, yeah I have to join some other people and share pay it forward all right so I'm going to turn my light pad on and I'm going to place a couple drills while we talk tonight I'm so excited about this collab with um Elizabeth I think it's just going to be so much fun and I love being able to support um, home businesses like Amy Reed and so I'm super excited about that and you know Earth Day it, it came and went but we still care <laughs> we still care and so I, I'm glad we get to do that and my hua can the DP get your big on I, I ended up messaging Sherry because I was just almost in tears it is popping drills like crazy if you've been following my Instagram, you've been able to see that. And so last night, I was just like, I need to pull this back out because I, I can't handle the popping drills right now. So a lot of people told me to follow my own advice and chuck, throw away trash. But I'm like, ah, uh, it's for the community event and I already started and I've gotten two out of the five panels done. So I think I'm going to suffer through it, even though I should take my own advice, because that's just how I am. But I am going to need to seal it. Okay, Kerwin just got home screaming, yelling, and slamming doors because McDonald's gives <laughs> regular Coke. It's someone's time in the... Oh, no. Oh, Hey, Cranes Creations! Good to see you! Not enjoying... Oh, I'm so sorry, Bianca. So, Melly, do you know why McDonald's has some of the best Coke? They actually have their own formula. If you research it, um, they have their own formula and they have a way... Their machines have a way to cool the coke syrup before it goes through the um what do you call it carbonation and so there's a different element of it's already in your cup cold before the ice hits it and so i guess that also elevates it so many people who love coke or diet coke say that 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 mcdonald's is the best as far as a fountain drink opportunity and i just thought that was interesting um, I don't know. There's like, tw what, 16 different formulas Coke has, something like that. We, my husband and I went to Atlanta, Georgia, where their, um, headquarters is and we're reading up on it because we thought we would go to the Coke factory or place down there and we decided not to, but we were reading up on it and thought it was interesting. I'm a Cherry Coke fan and a regular Pepsi fan. I think it's because Pepsi's a little bit sweeter, so the Wild Cherry Pepsi is too sweet for me. I know. <laughs> hey, Caitlin, good to see you. What kind of light pad? Jamie, this, I put the link down below. This one is one from Amazon. Um, it was actually a gift a friend got me, but I was able to find which one it was, and so I linked it down below. And then my other favorite is from Crafty Mint. I just think they both are beautiful uh, light pads. I have the Crafty Mint one right behind me. Um, I haven't used it recently because I have this one set up. But yeah, so this one, I, I can't remember, but it's from Amazon, and so I have a link down below. And what I like about it is it has little like minute pads underneath so it doesn't slide around on your table. And then it also has different levels of brightness. Hmm, do, 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 do. I don't think there's any more. Oh, one more. This little booger right here. 
I need to replace my wax. Okay. Valerie says she has to message Sherry. She was wondering the total length. Um, Valerie, I think if it just says 90 centimeters, that's fine either way. So it could be like a 90 by 20, a 90 by 40, whatever way. I think as long as that's what it's advertised as. Yeah, I've been nice. They're not the same. Uh-oh, we have a member. Mistria! Mistria is an amazing member. All right, Mistria. Welcome. You made it. Brandy made it. Okay, so truth, truth, truth to celebrate membership. Now, Mr. if you say something, it'll be in green. Okay, here we go. Pulling it out. That one goes back in. Okay, this, do you want odd or even, Mistria? Odd or even? Ah, uh, Crash, Crashly says she freaking loves her baby Callie so much, so she kind of gets it. What, what? Um, Kat says, speaking of the time of the month, just an hour ago, I was crying over my DP and how much I love my craft. Cats. Aww. Melly says, Coke, Pepsi, and Big Red Babes. Woohoo! I have the join option. Okay. All right. Woohoo! Tia, welcome. Thank you so much, Tia. Oh, gosh. Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to be doing some truths. Okay. Mistria, do you want odd or even? Did you say? Did you say, Mistria? I'm trying to see you. Yay, she upgraded. She's going to get this. Okay. Teresa! Woohoo! Okay, odd. Okay, odd. Ooh, this is a good one. Did you ever drink before you were of legal drinking age? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear this? <laughs> Okay, so uh, I am a goody two-shoe. However, I um, I don't, uh, yes. The short answer is yes, and I'm going to tell the story behind it. <laughs> hey, welcome, Joe. Welcome to the family, guys. Oh, I'm going to be telling so many truths tonight. That's awesome. Um, okay, so the answer is yes. I did drink before legal age. I was 20. It was um, the last weekend before, um, <laughs> right, Elizabeth? <laughs> I don't know. So it was the last weekend before, well, it was finals weekend of my senior year in college. And I had just reached my limit. I had one more class to take. And um, I went upstairs. Okay, so I lived in an apartment on campus. It was a dry campus. I went upstairs to one of my friend's house. And, um, well, my friend's apartment. Her name was Rachel. And she was 21. And she had was done with her finals. And so she was drinking. And I went into her apartment. And I was like... Um, hey, um, she was done and I was like, Hey, where's my drink? And she's like, um, excuse me. Like I paid for these. Uh, I was like, Oh, come on. So she went to the store. She got me some and, but they were warm and I did not want warm. So I stuck them in the freezer and they were, I think it was Smirnoff Mike's, Mike's Heart Lemonade or Smirnoff Ice, something like that. 
And so I um, put them in the freezer and she was watching the movie um, Dirty Dancing. And so we were sitting there and we were watching it. And um, about an hour into it, I was like, oh shoot, I need to go get that. So I took them out and they were all frozen except for about this much at the top. And what I didn't realize is that alcohol needs a higher level to freeze than your freezer. It doesn't freeze first. And so I'm like, well, this is ridiculous. If I just pop the top off of one, I'm only going to get a little bit of something to drink. But I never drank before. I didn't know this. So what does silly Jennifer, who doesn't know anything about alcohol, do? I pop the top off of all six poured all six into a cup and basically drank without anything on my stomach sh six shots of alcohol and within like 10 minutes I was beyond drunk so here I was underage on a dry campus drunk out of my mind as a goody two-shoe and I don't know <laughs> like <laughs> and my roommates were all goody two-shoes as well and one no, no. and so I knew I needed to call them because there was no way I was going to go home drunk and so I called them however I did not realize that when I called them I was trying to use the remote control for the TV so <laughs> I couldn't understand why and all this I know because Rachel told me I don't remember much of it and so then she helped me get the phone and helped me call. And I do remember this part. I knew if I talked that I was slurring, right? So I was trying to talk very slowly. So I could only imagine what I sounded like. And I was like, hello, Melissa. Like I was trying to <laughs> enunciate my words. So. I'm sure she was like, what the heck? But I was basically trying to tell her that I wouldn't be home and that I was sleeping over at Rachel's. And so I slept on Rachel's couch and then I woke up at like five o'clock in the morning with a really bad headache. I ended up crawling up the stairs, um, getting into the apartment and then trying to wake myself up because I had a nine o'clock um, psych exam. <laughs> crazy it was crazy so all right so I hope I hope that was worth it um, I'm gonna put a little X on here because there's um, to say that we did it because the other side still has a truth and we don't want to miss out on that okay so <laughs> let me get a, a, a drink of water after that <sighs> okay so who was next? Okay, that was Mystery. Okay, Tia, um, did you say odd or even? Tia, do you know which one that you want? Looking, 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 looking. Hey, Lion. How's it going? Love you too. Odd. Okay, so we've got to pull another one out. I think it's because odds in the room. They want all the odd ones. Okay. Have you ever accidentally revealed a friend's secret? Hmm, I'm going to have to think about this for a minute. Um, I don't know if I've accidentally revealed a friend's secret. I know that I've put my foot in my mouth before where a friend has told me something but didn't tell me it was confidential because she thought I would just assume it was and then I was talking and it came out. <laughs> So, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of an exact example because I, I want this to be worth it to you. 
I know one time at work, my boss told me something and I didn't, I thought it was open knowledge. And so in a team meeting, I revealed it and I guess it wasn't open knowledge. And so I, I kind of got talked to about that. But she understood because she didn't say, you know, keep this between us. She just assumed. And I'm like, well, <laughs> it's kind of hard. But I did get in a little bit of trouble in that way. Um, so let's see. <gasps> Crashly! Crashly signed up. Welcome to the VIP. Okay. So, Teresa, do you want odd or even, Teresa? And then we'll do Jill, and then we'll do Crashly. Woohoo! You have bones, Teresa? Tia? You look blue and green. <laughs> It looks like you're hitting, you have like a wrench that you can hit a ball with. <laughs> Teresa! Would you like odd or even, Teresa? Are you around? Oh, even. Okay. So let's grab an even out of here. All right, let's pick another one because this says, do you like the least, who do you like least in this room and why? So do you want to do the odd side of this or do you want me to pick another one? This is your truth, Teresa, you get to pick. We're just waiting for Teresa. Okay, another even? All right. Get back in there. Oh, <laughs> this is one I alluded to earlier that I looked at when I was cutting, cutting them up. Have you ever farted in an elevator? <laughs> I'm just going to X this so we know that we did it. So when I put it back in, we'll do the odd side next time. Ah, this pen stopped working on me. Okay. Um... Heck yes, I have farted in an elevator before. Um, one time I did it <laughs> when no one was in there. I used to go on um, conferences with my boss. I was the executive assistant and I would have to run and go get things for her And um, when we were at the hotels. And so I ran into this elevator. I passed gas like as soon as the door shut because I had been holding it forever. And then the doors opened on the second floor and people got in. And that elevator stank. And I was like, oh, crap. That, oh, crap. That's when you get out and walk to the elevator. So, um, but yeah, I have, um, there's been times where I have when the elevator's been full. And... Sometimes you just can't hold it in. And the one thing I thank my mom for is that growing up, she made that passing gas or farting was just a part of life, right? So you, it's something you are embarrassed about sometimes, but just growing up in an atmosphere where it wasn't the end of the world helped me later in life if I did pass gas. And the worst thing is when you're holding it in and you have to sneeze and you sneeze and pass gas yes, at the same time. Just, just <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Teresa. I hope that was okay with the lag. I thought you said even again. I hope that that one was okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so then we have Jill. Jill is next, and then Crashly, then Bianca. So Jill, <laughs> should we just should we just let that settle in? <laughs> that Jen parts in elevators. 
I know that's so professional, right? <laughs> it's so hard, people. It's so hard to hold it in. So Jill says odd. So we're going to go with odd. Oh, do you think kittens are cute? Okay. So to make this worth being a member, I'm going to expand on this question, Jill. So um, I think kittens are cute, but I think other people's kittens are cute. I am not a cat person. It's true. I'm so sorry, Cat Loves Books. I'm so sorry, Crashly. Um, and anybody else who likes cats. Um, I like other people's cats. My brother and sister-in-law has a cat. I'm fine with it. Um, I think it stems from two things. Number one, I am highly allergic to cats. Unless it's a hyper um, allergenic, sorry, I don't know how to say that word right now with my head. Um, I can walk into anybody's house, no matter how clean they are, and know they have a cat. Well, my nose can, because all of a sudden my eyes go red, my nose starts running, and it's crazy. And maybe I'll sneeze fart all through your home. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um, I was part of a, I always ask somebody if I'm part of a book club or a Bible study if they have a cat, because I have to take allergy medication, double allergy medication, then my day-to-day -day one before I go over there, or I'm a mess for like two days. Um, so the second reason I think is my mother told a story of a time that she was attacked by a cat and a cat ran up her leg, bit her like a vampire and wouldn't let go. And so that being young and hearing that story, even though cats can be the sweetest cats in the world, I just have this internal deep, dark secret fear that a cat's going to bite me. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. It's a snart, Yvonne. I love it. I'm going to start using that. Can I use that? <laughs> it just snarted. I love that. That's awesome, Yvonne. So, um, yeah. I will never hurt a cat. I think cats are precious. I think that they are great pets for other people, but not for me. But I do love kittens. Yes, I do love kittens. I just will never have a cat, never own a cat. And um, I will let cats live in someone else's home and let them be loved and spoiled in someone else's home. But I think those are the reasons why. <laughs> yes, exactly, Valerie. Thank you. Thank you. Nellie, welcome. Congratulations. Okay, Crashly, it's Crashly and then Bianca and then Melly. Okay, so Crashly, do you want odd or even? And for those of you who just came in, um, we are doing um, an example of what being a member of the channel is. So there's three levels. There's, you can either just watch you know, the, the lives, you could subscribe to my channel, or there's a join. Um, and if you become a member throughout my lives to honor that membership, I have this truth jar, and there's gonna be other things down the road that you'll then get to participate in. There's three different levels of membership, so based on what you select, allows you to participate in those levels. And so um, this is the first night of membership. Okay, so Crashly wants even. <laughs> oh my gosh, Crashly, this is going to be the best story ever. You are in a public restroom and just pooped, and then you realized your stall has no toilet paper. What do you do? Okay, guys, you need to go get your coffee. You need to get your, uh, tell Kerwin to drink his Diet Coke while he listens, because this is a story that you are going to literally snart your pants. <laughs> This is worthy of a whole gen tube, okay? So Crashly, this is definitely worth it. Mindy, welcome Mindy, thank you so much. All right guys, <coughs> are you guys ready? 
I promise I will get to all the truths tonight, even if we go over. Um, I know somebody else goes um, after me, but then you can come back and watch the replay as well. So um, if you do choose to leave at 10 o'clock Eastern, um, not a problem. Just let us know whether you want odd or even. And let us know if you want me to play it on this or save it and play it on the next live when you're in chat. Um, but we will make sure that you get your truth jar for becoming a member tonight. Also moving forward, just to give a heads up, um, while the tr truth jar does exist, um, I will be allowing up to three truths for all already members per live. So next week, if Jill, you want, you just want to spice up next week's live, you just say truth baby or truth jar or something like that. And because you're a member, I kind of have to stop what I'm doing and answer a truth. And we can do that up to three times each live, not per person, but three times total. And then any new members, it, it's, it'll not count. It'll be like a new member gets it no matter what. So just FYI. Okay. <laughs> um, a couple years ago, I had, I'm sorry, I'm not drilling guys. <laughs> I hope that's okay. Um, I had severe pain in my lower left side and the doctors could not figure out what in the world was going on. I mean, it was to the point where I couldn't walk across the room. I couldn't stand up straight. It was a mess. And so they were, <coughs> they, um, were like, you know what? We're going to do a colonoscopy. They did PET scans, MRIs, different things like that. So this story comes from that my daughter, um, I don't remember if it was kindergarten. I think it was kindergarten. She was um, having her end of the year picnic. That was the same day that I was going to have this colonoscopy. <laughs> Guys, this, this colonoscopy is connected to a bathroom with no toilet paper. Okay, can you see where this story is heading? Hey, Rivka. Um, so, yeah, I just, <laughs> I can't even tell the story, guys. Okay. So, I don't know if you know what you need to do to have a colonoscopy, but usually you're clean out your system. So, anyway, I went to her, her picnic party. It's a picnic. It's at a park, people. A park, okay? What are the restrooms like at a park? Just think about this, imagine. So Lydia is running around everywhere. They're doing great. Um, all the moms have their designer sunglasses on and they have their like Starbucks in hand. And I have this little cooler of, I don't know what it is, but it's like this barium or something that I had to take. Maybe I was having an MRI, I can't remember. But the, the point of the story is, is I had to drink this barium. And so I had a cooler and I was pouring it into my coffee mug. And um, night, Jamie, thanks for coming. And so everybody else was talking and I was sitting on a picnic bench on the side and I had drank um, already half of it. And all of a sudden I needed to go, like big time needed to go. So I go over to, thankfully it was a flushable toilet, but it was only one toilet and somebody's in there. And I, guys, I can, I can't hold it. I, I can't, right? It's, it's like literally poison in my system. So finally the kid comes running out and I run in, I lock the door. Um, I told a teacher that I was going to the bathroom so that, you know, if my kids fell off a slide or something, the teacher would know where I was. I go to the bathroom and I go to grab the toilet paper and there is literally no toilet paper. There are no paper towels. There is nothing in this bathroom but the toilet and the sink. There was not even soap for the sink. So, deep breath swallow kids are a kid starts banging on the door because that child needed to go to the bathroom and I'm like oh dear god help me 
and right in front of me was the trash can. <laughs> Guys, people, I was desperate. I was like, and there's tissues in the trash can. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm telling you guys this. Okay. I was like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. So <laughs> I reached into the trash can and pulled out dirty tissues <laughs> and prayed to God I wouldn't get a disease. <laughs> And I wiped my butt. <laughs> and prayed to God that I didn't have to go to the bathroom again. And then I ended up, um, then there was no soap. So I had half a bottle of sanitizer in my purse. So I sanitized myself. <sighs> and then Lydia got presented her three certificates. We left a little bit early so I could go to a restaurant and go to the bathroom and wash my hands appropriately and, and make sure that I was fine and dandy. But seriously, that that was like the worst. That's why you always <laughs> so yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. So yes, that did happen one time in my life. I'm sure it's happened other times, but that's the time that um, I will live to tell. All right. Bianca, you're next. So, Bianca, do you want odd? You said odd. Okay, you want odd. So, we're going to go in here. I'm going to pull one out. Your question is for me, what is your guilty pleasure? Okay, so I have to be true about this, right? Um, it depends. Like, what are you talking about? What's my guilty pleasure of watching something on TV? What's my guilty pleasure of something to eat? Um, oh, Melly, I think you're next after Bianca. Um, so I, um, well, I'll tell a couple things. So one of my guilty pleasures which you guys won't find guilty, but in my goody two shoes social world was back in the day were things like I would watch Grey's Anatomy or I would watch, um, oh, Desperate Housewives or things like that. Cause people in my circle at that time didn't watch those things. And so I wouldn't have anybody to talk to them about, but I'd watch them. Um, let's see. Yes, Valerie, definitely. I keep tissues and wet wipes in my purse now. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, guilty, I love Oreo double stuffed cookies. I will eat a whole bag of those. Um, i trying to think. I, I don't know. I don't have many guilty pleasures that I'm not, I don't feel guilty about. I think ordering expensive diamond paintings <laughs> when I have a lot in my stash. Um, I don't know. I, I can't think. I, I'll think of think some more. But you you kind of give me a heads up on what you think. <laughs> so okay, Melly. Um, I don't know if you said odd or even above. Trying to keep up. Bianca said she would eat a whole keg of Brussels sprouts. Ooh. Oh, you went even. Yay, we get an even. Um, I love like a good burger. Cheese. I love cheese. Oh my gosh. I don't think I could ever be vegan. I think I would rather die. Okay, this one is what is your go-to song for the shower um I don't really have a song but I will tell you that there's been times that I've set up my phone across and put on YouTube videos while I shower <laughs> but I hide the camera so I um you know if let me get a tray here so like if this is my phone and this is the camera, the, the camera is behind the shampoo bottle because I'm scared to death somebody's going to hack 
in. And if they hack in, I think they'll fall over because I, I don't think anyone wants to see me naked. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I don't really have a song I sing in the shower, but that's something um, that happens behind closed doors that maybe you guys... Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, why we pass gas in elevators. <laughs> true, true, true. Exactly, exactly. So that is what the truth jar is. So I'm going to go through all these, make sure they're X on the sides that um, we did do and put the put them back in so we can do the other sides. Um, but definitely in the future, if you are a member, if your name is green or if you're blue and you have a green circle behind, you definitely can shout out a truth in chat and it you'll be able to uh, do a truth jar up to three times. Rivka, welcome. Rivka wants a truth. And Mindy, I'll do yours next week as well. So Rivka and Mindy, I definitely have you on the schedule for the truth jar. We will do yours first next week. Definitely promise there are some more juicy ones in there. Um, so thank you so much. Um, another thing too is when you join, you saw like the different levels, so you'll get shout outs. So my next whip and chat, anybody who became a member tonight will get a shout out. And if you have a Facebook group or if you have a YouTube video, I'll be, um, you know, t telling people about that. And then the different levels you'll see will be interacting differently. So Thank you, Yvonne. I hope so too. I hope I made sense tonight. I hope I brought just some smiles to your life. I know you guys, I'm touching my, my heart right now. You guys have just really um, helped me feel better today and I love you all. And I'm so glad that you're here. So definitely be looking tomorrow for um, the unboxing of the wonderful collab for Earth Day that uh, Elizabeth Inslee and I are doing. And then Sunday is going to be Stashing Sunday. I love that series and you guys are gonna see what is next in my stash. I can't wait. And then I have a bunch of other stuff, fun stuff planned for Tipsy Tuesday. And um, of course the collab with in chat and then live next Friday. So until then guys, be blessed, take care. And I love you all until next time. Bye-bye.